Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. You ever just find your happy place? So, as you know, I'm an unabashed 13th Colony Distillery fan. I love the stuff that they do. I miss their sour mash. I love their bourbons, love their rise, loved all their barrel strength or cast strength stuff that they put out that I've had the opportunity to get. Their double oak is phenomenal. They've got a new one coming out in March that I'm going to have to hunt. This is their 15th anniversary bottle. Man, I'm looking forward to that. And and their gin and their vodka is very good, too. I mean, they just touch things, and they do a fantastic job with it. So this past this past weekend, Saturday, you know, they the first Saturday of the month is, you know, always a great time to go check it out because you're not in a rush or anything. You can go have some pours, learn a bit about the distillery, and have a great time there. So it was fantastic. You know, I always have – the people there are always amazing to me. So – you know, I have a, a, a local gentleman. He's been a supporter of the channel. He's a Patreon. And and we were chatting back and forth. And he says, well, when's the next time you're going to go to 13th Colony? I said, well, I'm going to be going there. I think, you know, this was Saturday. I said, I think I'm going to go Saturday. And I said, I'm going to go early right when they open. That way I can come home and do some things I've been wanting to do around the house as well. But I always like to get out there and check things out. So he said, well, I'll meet you there, <laughs> basically. He's like, I was already planning to go at 11. You know, let, and I said, well, cool, can you meet me at 10 when they open up? He's like, yeah. So I had the opportunity to, to hang out with, with Sky Dog there. So that was that was super awesome. Um, and while we were there, you know, we were, were having some drinks and stuff and just talking. They released this bad boy right here. So this is one of their cask strength distillery only um rise and and you know their rise are so freaking good uh this is an eight year 130.6 proof they've got a side by gram on there which i absolutely love because i'm a tater at heart so that's really cool so pick this up i even i even shared a pour with some i i, I had some there at the distillery uh, they had said in part of their flight set which was awesome and I cracked it and, and I immediately poured it for someone and brought it to them. So I, this is my first drink out of my own bottle. I, I, like I said, I love to share stuff. So even though I had some of the distillery, I knew what it was like. I said, I need to get this to somebody else real quick. So let's get into this one today. I'm so excited about this. Looking forward to the 15th anniversary. I know it's going to be a tough hunt, but you know what? Anything, that's the fun part about hunting bourbon though, is, is that when you get it, you're like, you get that cool like I, I you know it's almost like a little high type of thing a lot of fun but if you don't know about their rise um their mash bill is 95 percent rye five percent malted barley uh they they put a french oak a toasted french oak spiral in there which really helps smooth it out and that climate here in this area i mean with the vast dips you got you know this whatever whiskey it is whether it's a rye or a bourbon is going in and out of that barrel so much that it really ages it fast. And if you can't tell by this color, I mean, it's almost like a deep burnt caramel on this thing. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, burnt, heavily burnt orange with some red hues, but it's like a deep burnt caramel. Got my Auburn glass today. But man, I am, I was so excited about this. hundred and thirty proof. And it is nowhere blowing you up with any kind of an, an, an ethanol or an alcohol or anything like that. On the nose, you're getting some uh, some heavy brown sugars. You're getting a, some stone fruit in there. I would say it's almost a like a, a almost like a, a peach that's almost like in a cobbler, but you know not the breadiness, but like a stewed fruit that's in there, a heavy peach or maybe even a a real ripe apricot. The rye spice that you get in here is not super, super heavy. This is, I mean, this almost smells like a dessert to me. 
I mean, you get the nice bit of spices, you're getting the kind of the stewed fruits, you're getting the heavy brown sugars. Looking on the glass on this thing, it's got great oils on it as well. So I'm expecting a, a very nice uh, mouthfeel on this as well. When you get something that's nice and oily, you're going to get a nice mouthfeel, which is going to coat your, your mouth really nice, coat the palate really nice. Give you some different sensories because your tongue is broken up in different ways. So you'll get some different flavors in different places, which is nice as too, which is nice as well. And you may hear my dog chewing on his bone in the background. Uh, Finn has decided to join me out here for this today. <laughs> This almost has a, a chocolate note to it as well. Not almost. It has a chocolate note to it as well. Um, like I said, this isn't a typical rye where you're just hit with a bunch of spice and earthiness and peppers on the, on the nose. Let's get into the palate on this thing. This does not drink like 130 poofer. Now, does, does it have some punch and, and a bit of a Kentucky hug? Absolutely. But not at 130 proof. It's strength and way under proof, which can be dangerous <laughs> in a lot of ways because you're enjoying it so much. And then you stand up to go get yourself something. You go, whoa, what happened there? Brown sugar, butteriness, like a light, fine pepper on the back, but not heavily, heavily peppered. You're getting some of that, uh, that fruit. I'm getting a little bit more of a, a, a light peach on it, which is very nice. You're getting some of the uh, oak on the back, just a tiny bit of dryness on the back, but it's not bitter in any way. More of a sweet oak. You do get a little bit of a, that rye spice and the allspice on the back, but it's not that heavy punch that you get from a traditional rye, which I, I like a lot of heavy, you know, I like a lot of ryes with my stuff that have that, but this just blends so well. So you're getting the sweetness, you're getting a, a, some of the stone fruit with it. You're getting some of the light pepper. Now you're getting some of the rye. You're getting a tiny bit of allspice. Oh, there's some vanilla coming in through there now. Tiny bit of uh, milk chocolate on the back. And if you're not... Man, that's so good. If you're not a... Hmm... If you're not a, a, a rye person, this is a very approachable rye. If you're trying to move in, from a transition or a whiskey to try out some ryes, even though it's a 95% rye in the mash bill, it's a very bourbon friendly rye. And I'm sure a lot of that has to do with the climate, the way it's in, in and out of that barrel. And then on top of that, that toasted French oak spiral, which really smooths things out on there. Because it's a nice smooth journey. And then you kind of get some of the spice coming back through it, but it's not overpowering at all. To me, it's like a nice dessert. It's not super, super sweet. It's got some great sweetness to it, but not super, super sweet. But then you get a balance of a bunch of other different flavors. The fruitiness that comes along with it. Um, some of the spice that comes along with a nice dessert. You know, if you have, you know, it's not cinnamon, but if, you know, if you get, well, <laughs> there's just a touch of cinnamon there. But I'm not, but I'm cinnamon sensitive though. And the more I drink on this, the more things I'm getting. 
Like this last sip had more of the, the milk chocolate, had a tiny bit of a, almost like a zest, a, a, like a lemon zest to it. So I'm getting a lot of things off there. I've gotten the brown sugar. I've gotten the oak. I've gotten some rye spice. I've gotten some fine black pepper. A uh, little bit of allspice in there. You're getting some of the um, sweet oak on the back. Not 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 bitter at all. Um, a little bit of a lemon zest going on. Stone fruit. I'm thinking it's more of like a peachy type of note on there. But man, buttery quality to it. Great mouthfeel. Drinks under proof. I wish I could have bought more than one bottle, but it's one per person. <laughs> but man, uh, fantastic on there. So what do you do when you have a bottle like this? Like I always say in the, in the in analogy I use all the time is, you know, if the tree falls in the forest, doesn't really make a sound. So if a bottle's really good, nobody else tries it, is it really that good? Super Bowl Sunday, two pours. One's for anyone that's watched this video. It's put in the comments, 13th Colony Rocks. Second is a Patreon drawing. If you haven't won one of the six packs or one of the, um, what do we have? We had Redwood Empire drawings. You'll be eligible for a pour of this. Patreons only, as long as you're a paying Patreon member, um, You'll be you'll be eligible for this if you haven't won anything yet this month. So on Super Bowl Sunday, I'll be doing a drawing for this. In the comments, 13th Colony Rocks. Um, for this video, it's open to everyone. But of course, you got to be 21, continental U.S., um, you know, stuff like that that I can verify. Um, so you'll be open for that. I'll draw that Sunday prior to the Super Bowl. Patreons, I'll be drawing this Sunday as well for you for a pour of this. Because I want to make sure that uh, this bourbon's good and that you guys believe it is as well. And plus, it's it's a unique thing. There's like, I think there's 152 bottles total that they had for this. And so, it's a unique experience. So, looking forward to seeing you in the comments on this. Looking forward to getting some pours out for people. Man, it's, it's by the time this video rolls out, it's Tuesday. Man, we're, we're well into the work week. I hope your work week is, is successful. I hope your work day goes by fast, but you accomplish everything you need to accomplish today. When you have your off time today, I hope it just dials it down a little bit and it goes by slow. So you can enjoy time with family, with friends, you know, say hey to a neighbor, get some time for yourself, have a nice meal, have a nice pour, do something for yourself to let your mind unwind a little bit. But most importantly, all cheers and God bless. You all have an amazing day. Thank you.